Hey guys, this is Nick again. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a test for lead-based paint in your home. Um, if you live in a home that was built before 1978, um, there's a good chance that you're going to have lead-based paint around the interior and exterior windows, uh, the windowsill location, around door trims, um, places like that. Outside your home, you could find it around the doors as well, in addition to on railings and stuff like that. Uh, so how do you test for lead-based paint? Today I'm going to use a lead check. Just one of those things you can pick up at Walmart or Home Depot. Uh, when you look at the lead check, um, it has uh, A and a B section. If you should remove it from the packet, you will see the vial with uh, two um, kind of chemicals that need to mix together in order to produce a reaction. Uh, the first step in the process involves finding the location. Um, next thing you want to do, you want to take a knife and you want to score the area deep down. You want to get through all the paint layers. Um, in most cases, you want to make a V shape. After you've uh, cut the area, you want to make sure you have gone through all the layers of the paint. The next thing to do is uh, take a look at the vial and it will have an A and a B section that you need to crush. Uh, make sure the vial is inside the paper sheathing. And then you can go ahead and crush the A and the B sections. After you've crushed A and B, uh, shake the container vigorously for a couple seconds to mix the chemicals. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and squeeze the liquid out into the area that you cut and you want to keep rubbing it. At this point you're looking to see if it turns red or it stays yellow. If the tip of the swab stays uh, yellow after rubbing the area for about 30 seconds, uh, that means it's not lead based paint. To verify that your test was valid, uh, you can use the lead um, verification card to see if it turns red. If it does, that means the test you took was, uh, was good. If the chemical and the swab turns red um, when you begin to test the area, that means uh, it detected lead-based paint. And you want to go ahead and um, treat those areas um, carefully. If your home has lead-based paint, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have an issue. The issue usually arises if the paint is in bad condition and it keeps flaking off and uh, you have children in the house and they have an, uh, a chance to put that material in their mouth. They can become poisoned with lead and that becomes a very serious health issue. So if you live in a home um, that was built before 1978, um, just make sure if you're gonna do any kind of renovation activity, make sure you're using caution and uh, making sure you use a professional contractor or you make sure you get your home tested to see if it has lead-based paint learn more about how to keep your family safe um, when dealing with lead-based paint, uh, click on the link below in the description that will take you to the website for the EPA uh, as well as the CDC.